It sure is, Tanya. And you know, the fallout from his death is growing. Thousands of people live here at the shelter, and the ambulances just keep coming. This morning, there are calls for the state and the federal government to step in. Yet another ambulance responded to the massive new arrival shelter in Pilsen this morning. The fire department saying they took a woman in her late 40s to a local hospital for chest pain. Late last night, a three year old who was vomiting and a seven year old girl with an ear infection were rushed to UIC. After four more children with fevers and a teenager were transported for care, adding to the growing list of medical emergencies at the shelter where a five year old boy died on Sunday after an illness. There's a medical emergency at the shelter. Literally, as we're standing here, Governor J.B. Pritzker needs to step in. Former mayoral candidate J. Maul Green held a news conference outside the shelter near 23rd and Halstead this morning, calling on the state and the federal government to investigate the health conditions at the shelter. Many migrants say illnesses there are spreading quickly. They also claim there's no access to medical care, and Green believes the city has dropped the ball. The city, at this moment, um, should put a cap on the amount of migrants that we're taking in. We should not be taking any more migrants in when we know we can't take care of them. In the wake of the death of five-year-old Jean Carlos Martinez, city leaders say they're investigating and vowing to make changes to safety protocols based on their findings. There are more than 2,300 new arrivals living at the warehouse turned shelter. The mayor claiming yesterday that the city is providing on-site medical care. He also pointed to conditions in the border states before asylum seekers make their way to Chicago. I want you to hear me good. They're showing up sick. Do you hear me? They're showing up sick. This morning, we reached out to the governor's office for a comment, but so far, we have not heard back. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.